And uh, whatever, the, whatever the outcome is, it doesn't matter. You win, they win, it doesn't matter. It's not the purpose of practicing patience. It's not to manipulate people. Yeah? It's for you not to having to carry that with you every day of your life. So you learn to let go. If you can't change the situation, you learn to accept. And not to having to put it down and then get stomach ulcers and every time you see the same situation you get angry again and you see the same person. That's what practicing patience is for. And not to create a negative karma of, you know, the whole thing has come back again and again and again and again and again. So again, can you see it has to be done voluntarily. You have to decide, this is something I want to do. I want to become a health, a healthily patient person, not somebody who grits his or her teeth and then says, oh, I'll just wait until the situation is finished. Not like this, okay? To really, really put things into perspective, to use your brain. You know, patience is not just waiting. It's like you use your brain. We have it. We use it. We put things into perspective. What's the benefit? What's the what's the disadvantage? What is this? What is that? Blah, 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 blah. You use it and then especially you disidentify from it. And you go and we maybe we do the meditation. It's very it's very simple, it's very helpful. I found it out with myself. I couldn't get rid of a feeling of jealousy. I wasn't happy that this person was so successful. And you know, I could feel the mind going, yeah, but you know, she does this. <laughs> Uh, so then, I was sitting in just, mi just mindfulness meditation, but then I had the thought, am I this jealousy? We'll try it out. We, I hope you all have something that just the memory of it brings, brings big stuff. You have, everybody has something like this. We'll need it. Yeah? <laughs> because otherwise you can't see that it works. And immediately what I felt was, Tuck! and of course the eye was still there, but it was here. It actually, I was, I never understood this disidentifying from it. I cooked it up myself, now I'm sharing it with you. Try it out, maybe it works for you just as well as it works for me. It worked like magic. Yeah. It's not that I wasn't jealous anymore, but it wasn't so anymore. It was, I wasn't obsessively carrying that around with me during the day, that's what I mean. So you can try it out. Okay, then um, what do we have? So when you practice patience, in order to practice patience, you need courage. And especially here in Israel, because you're on top of it, you're not sitting and they say, wow, you're really patient, with admiration. Here they say, gosh, you're stupid. So you need to be, have the courage to not to, you know, not to be influenced when other people think that you're stupid and then not to practice patience, so you double, so you get double bonus, so that's good. Yeah, yeah we make a break at 12 o'clock. Um, so then, and then we, when you see you have the courage, the enthusiasm to sit in meditation, which you will need, or to practice, will come also. You know, when you, um, how many of you remember having learned Switzerland skiing, here, riding a bike? How long did it take you? Quite a while, yeah? So it's like, there is absolutely no fun and no joy when you keep falling here and there. And, uh, the moment you get it, ah, this, this rush of, that's what is called enthusiasm. This freedom from everything else that is burdening us. And then again, it, it disappears. But, so this is it, when, when, you, when the mind starts to understand it is possible to practice patience, not because I want the situation to change, but very often it does actually, also outside, or the person outside changes, but that does not the reason. Because it's possible to let go uh, something like this, then there's a lot of enthusiasm for the practice, for the whole of the practice coming up. And this joy is effort, they call it, or enthusiasm, you will need it, if you want to attain full awakening. Because it's going to take a long, 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 long time. But again, don't make it too long. <laughs> don't make it, everything is only in the future, okay? It's like, it also, now I can have a moment of patience. 
No, also have that confidence. Already now I can get some fruit of my practice. And the moment will come when the moment of full awakening is now. Because if it's only always mm, over there, then we'll never get there. Because we've lost the, the faith that it can happen at one point now. Because it's only happening in the future. Do you see what I mean? So again, with this whole thing, yes, it's good to really have a long breath. I think they call uh, you say long breath in English? Yes. Uh, you know, huh? deep, no, long, like long. <coughs> in, Hebrew, in, Hebrew, in Hebrew is okay. In French also is okay. In English, I'm not sure. In German also okay. Long atem. So to endure, like it will take. You know, you take a deep breath because that will take you very long. So we need to have like an enduring mind that says, okay, no matter what, I will continue. So a good way of uh, to see no matter what is, do I have a choice but to work with my mind? It's a horrible thought because you see everybody in a very clear way. <laughs> I have no choice. I have no choice but to work with my mind because even if you were somewhere, you know, you got rid of all, you left your country because the country is very difficult, you go to somewhere it's very small and the government's very good or no government or whatever and you have enough financial means to sustain yourself, even if you're very healthy, and even nobody bothers you or whatever. Even there you have the chance of not being happy. All these conditions are conditions. They can make you happy, but you have no guarantee. Whereas if you have patience, healthy patience, understanding how things work, and what helps and what doesn't help, you can go wherever you want, you'll be okay. And that, unfortunately, yeah, you know, we can spend, usually we spend our whole life kind of changing things outside, making this better, making, it's how society works. This is how our economy works. Because we have this wish for things to be better, because we feel that it's not good enough. So, so much money is made with that, but also the environment is being destroyed because of that. Yeah, so also looking after the environment, I tell you, is a very, very big part of your practice. It goes with the practice. So then for, you know, paper cups and all this, you know, I know that I have a cup, otherwise I bring my own. So try to make that habit also. Bring your own cup, because you know that here they're only using paper cups um, with the milk also. Um, tell the Dharma friends, I don't need cow milk. Because they're still very much concerned about you that you, it will spoil your day because you're not drink, you can't have cow milk in your coffee or in your, in your tea. Is it like that? Do you really need it? The cow milk? Oh, silence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need it? No, I mean, I know you and me and all the others, but does anybody need cow milk? Let's go like this. Tea? Nobody wants. Who said? Okay. You, you know, you're not, we're not for, forbidding it. You can bring it yourself. This is what we could put on the website. We're not providing cow milk anymore or, or like animal products, which I think is a good thing because it is really, I mean, I tell you, these beings, they suffer so much. I mean, if I, and we're part of it. So uh, I know, me also, I'm a, I like meat, I like milk, cheese I don't like, so it's very easy to give it up. But the other two things I like, but I'm trying to make an effort to at least cut down and all this. So that's what, I'm, and it is taking care of the environment by saying, okay, I love it, but for the moment, I don't want it. Because the benefit or the, the, the damage that's being done is more important than my, my comfort. So I, anyway, I'll ask all the groups and if uh, you know, and I present it like this. Because I think as a Dharma group, we should make go on a big example. Not saying you're not allowed to, not like this. But if you want cow milk, it's fine, but you need to bring your own. If it's weekends, everybody has a fridge in their room, they can put it there. Nobody will criticize you. Nobody will say, you're drinking cow milk. No. They will see you, and this is also, if, if somebody comes and says, you're drinking cow milk, please come and tell me. Otherwise, you don't have to tell on anybody. But if somebody criticizes you because you're drinking cow milk, then come and let me know who that was. Because we have no, we have no right to kind of tell people what they need to do. Do you see what I mean? 
Okay. So, so like this. So the enthusiasm comes when we see that, hey, I can survive without animal products, for example. Because you never know, you might end up as a cow. And there's a calf who is not wanted because in order to have milk, we need calves. And they're too many and they don't know what to do with them. I saw a video the other day, I mean, I don't even want to tell you what I saw. And this is really what turned me off, about how they keep these calves because they don't know where to put them. So we're creating a lot of suffering, unconsciously we're creating a lot of suffering. So, uh, you know, I'm not the best of every, everybody looking after them, but I also have an iPhone, for example. I also have a computer, I have a tablet that somebody gave to me. Every time you take your iPhone, even if you're 100% vegan, there is blood in there from kids who have to go and dig up these uh, methods. And all. So, you know, if we need to function in society, because we do need to function, we need certain things. We can't if we don't need to function. We can function without power. Then you can say, that's the argument they use, but what about all the cows then? They want, um, they don't, you know, they can't sell their products, they go bankrupt. Yeah, that's true. This is why there is not one situation when you can say, I do this, then it's good for everybody. In samsara. And this is why we have to attain enlightenment. We have no choice. Because the wish for everybody to be well, the wish for everybody to have like equanimity and, and, and you know, fairness, and it's definitely there. So like this. So then with enthusiasm, then you do serious Shamatha practice, isn't it? Higher. With enthusiasm, you do serious shamatha practice. And you can endure, you know, one month, two months, and uh, also Kiki, I think you did, yeah? It's like, and it's terribly boring. So if you don't have the right, you know, if you just want now happiness, I mean, one day maybe. Uh, two or three, but uh, you know, like you have to be able, you need these other things to be able to endure um, the, the hardships. And then with, so then you develop concentration, that is the fifth perfection, a mind that is totally calm, totally clear, able to stay, able to stay on the object, be it here or there or wherever, like effortlessly. Would be nice, no? But in order to get there, it needs a lot of effort. And if there's no enthusiasm in the effort, then it becomes boring, then you give up and all this. This is why these five things kind of go together, the first five ones. Then what do we need it for? In order to realize emptiness. In order to realize that all this, what seems to be existing out there, does not exist. In order to wake up from the dream of in real inherent existence. And that's very profound, that's very complicated. And you have very good teachers who come to teach these topics, so maybe we don't even go there. We'll see. Uh, I prefer to concentrate a bit on the, on the first few ones, because that's what we need to practice anyway in order to get there. So, um, but the purpose of practicing generosity, ethical conduct, patience, enthusiasm, and concentration is to have a direct perception of that. What we are seeing there is just a dream and just created by our own mind. Okay, so we make a break until 12.30 and then we do meditation. Is that okay? Silence? No, I, no. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, you can, it's good to connect with each other. So also instead of, you know, gossiping about somebody else, which you can, again, I'm not saying you're not allowed to, but um, maybe try to discuss what we what we talked about. You know, is this something that is worthwhile getting into, really getting to know them? What exactly they are? Because they're not as simple as it sounds. They have like also divisions in there. What exactly they are? We discussed this afternoon and uh, then tomorrow also, so that you you're not hurting yourself because you can hurt yourself if you jump into this and think, okay, now you know this this. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening. If you do have questions, a very good way is to write them down and put a question on my desk. Um, that's always the best way for me also. Because as, as, as you can hear, I can't hear people anymore when they ask questions. So then we have to have stations, you know, 
So from her it goes to Nif, from Nif it goes to me, father, and me, My hearing is getting really bad. And uh, also, don't come and tell me I have to have a box. We tried it out, it doesn't work. So I was very happy when they said, for you, the way your ear is, it won't work. I was very happy to hear it, so I don't need to carry this box, you know, this thing here. But if it works, by all means, put it. Yeah, by all means, put it. Okay, thank you. <laughs>